God morning, everyone. It is time to read Matthew chapter 28. It is the last chapter in Matthew. It is the shortest chapter in Matthew. Let's do this. Matthew chapter 28. Lord God Almighty, bless this whole thing. And you know, when I read the Bible, what I like to do is start out with saying, and the Lord said to Glenn, try yourself. Makes it more personal. So I'll say us, all right? Matthew chapter 28, verse one. And the Lord said to us, after the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake and an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone that sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. I've never understood why it says that. Now I've told you. He told him, then says, now I have told you. But whatever, he just told us. Now we know. Now we know. That's why we read, so that we know. I'm going to say a comment about that. Once we know, we know. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priests everything that had happened. When the chief priests had met with the elders, they devised a plan. They gave the soldiers a large sum of money, telling them, You are to say. His disciples came during the night and stole him while we were asleep. If this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has been widely circulated among the Jews of this very day. Now here we see it is the Great Commission. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain, where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, even to the end of the age. <clears throat> you know, every gospel has a great commission in the end. You know, it says, now that you know, go and tell people. Make disciples of them. Make believers of them. But people don't go. They just don't. They say they believe it, but they won't tell it. Um, you know, don't have a lot to say about that. I mean, if you know that you're going to heaven because you believed on Jesus Christ and other people are going to hell because they haven't, why wouldn't you tell them? I don't. I don't know. I really don't. There's a saying. Now, I know that some people follow this, and I know that some don't. And I know there's some that know me that got out right away, right away. And it's funny, in talking to one of them, that um, if you met the person, you'd say greatest Christian that ever lived, but they will not say the gospel, and they condone just about every sin known to man. In talking to this person, um, I saw a phrase that said... Uh, Christians won't read the Bible because they know if they do, they'll have to do what it says. And this person said, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. I could never get this person to read the Bible. It's funny. But 
that's the truth. We won't read it because we have to do what's in it. We want to stay with our nice little verses that keep everybody happy, but we don't see the truth. The Bible says on that day, we will be without excuse. I'm going to let you go for now. Um, you know, I mean, I, I do this so you'll know the truth. Someone told me the truth, you know. So uh, this is it, Matthew chapter 28. I'm done with Matthew chapter. I'm done with Matthew. I will be done in three more videos. And uh, yeah, eight months, four to five videos a day. I mean, a week. It was tough. It was tough. Um, but here we go, man. <laughs> you have a God-testing day, everyone.